Well, what a proportion is, it's a ratio equal to a ratio. So a ratio is comparing two quantities. So it's like a fraction equal to another fraction. And because it's an equation, the left side and the right side are equal. And there's a couple different ways to approach these problems. One way to do it is, whatever you do to the denominator, you want to do to the numerator. So for example, if you were to multiply the denominator by a certain quantity, you would want to multiply the numerator by the same quantity so you don't change the overall value of that fraction. Same thing with if you divide the denominator by a certain number, you want to divide the numerator by that same number. Adding, subtracting, that won't work. So it's just multiplying and dividing. You want to make sure you do the same thing to the top and the bottom. So here what we're going to do is we're going to say, hmm, 12 times 4 equals 48. So if I multiply the bottom of this uh, fraction by 4, I want to also multiply the numerator by 4. So you can see that x must be 4. And if you reduce this, 4 48 reduces down to 1 12th. So you can see that our answer for x is 4. Okay, let's look at another example. This one we have 15 over 24 equals 45 over x. So another way to do this problem is, instead of saying, okay, 15 times 3 is 45, if I multiply the top by 3, let me multiply the bottom by 3. Another way to do this is to cross multiply. They call that the cross product. So the product of these two multiplied together equals the product of these two multiplied together. Okay, so you're with me so far? These are kind of large numbers though, so what you might want to do is, you might want to reduce this fraction first. So 3 goes into 15 5 times, 3 goes into 24 8 times. I divided the top and the bottom by the same number, so it's the same equivalent fraction, right? So now what we're going to do is we're just going to cross multiply. So we have 8 times 45 equals 5x. So 5 times x equals 8 times 45. So let's just see what's 8 times 45. That's 40, 360. Okay, so 360. And then what we're going to do is we're going to solve for 1x by dividing by 5. Dividing by 5. And so now we get 72. 